Hi everyone, I'm here with Natasha Stotters Foyer. Congratulations on your new position, Ambassador for Women and Girls. What Thank a great you. job. Yes, I'm very excited. Oh, well, we've just talked about it on Frankly Speaking. Mm -hmm. And now I want to do a couple of fast five. Okay. Fast five. <laughs> so, who do you admire most in the world? Do Aung San Suu Kyi, the democracy leader in Burma, who's been my just hero forever. And I got to meet her three times this year. Oh, oh really? Last year. Whoops. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what qualities do you most admire? I love a sense of humour. Uh, I love people who are loyal um, and I like people who can have a good debate um, even when you don't always agree. <laughs> What's your greatest strength and greatest weakness? Uh, I think my so many weaknesses. Uh, the ability to say no, uh, I worry too much and I'm a little obsessed with diaries, so I'm, I'm an over-organiser. So, um, Do you write a list every morning? I write a list all the time. <laughs> I'm a compulsive list writer. Uh, in terms of on the positive side, uh, look, I hope my sense of humour. I don't think I would have coped in my, certainly, political life. Uh, and maybe sometimes with some of the issues with which I deal without uh, a healthy, or maybe unhealthy, sense of humour, I'm not sure. <laughs> What's your favourite film? Uh, I was going to tell you the really, you know, the clever ones like uh, Casablanca and all these wonderful ones, Roman Holiday, but in actual fact... <laughs> Don't tell me it's Nemo. <laughs> not quite. Um, the American president, oh, Michael Douglas. Yes, he, oh, he was Annette great. Benning. And it is, yeah, it's kind of schmaltzy, but it combines my love of politics, uh, America... And, and we get uh, to go on the plane. And it's Capra-esque. We get inside the plane on that one, don't we? Uh, on yes, Air Force One. On Air Force One? Yeah, yes. I think so. No? By confusing oh. my movies? All right, moving on. Dinner party. Who would you, if five people you'd like to invite to Only your dream five? dinner party? Okay. Uh, Hillary Rodham Clinton, mm. Aung San Suu Kyi, oh, Rachel Griffiths. I love the fact Rachel said once that she wanted to be the youngest ever female Democrat senator. And then she said, I see that job's been taken. No. Um, <laughs> uh, Rob Sitch, Rob from Working Sitch. Dog and the panel, who has been my not so secret crush for most of my adult life. I'm a D generation girl from way back. Oh. And only Ab one more. Obama. Which one? Both. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully they're a package You can only choose deal. one. I'm sorry, your dinner party's full. Which did, one? Or the, do they have to be oh, one? Okay, okay. I um, uh, uh. Probably to even numbers up, I'd have Obama. I think that's the only time in his life he'd be invited to a dinner party to even the numbers. But, uh, oh, but oh, there are so many others. Do they have to be alive no, or dead? No, that's it. That's or, it. Okay. Oh, yeah, alive or dead, anything. Just, it's a really, dream. There should be authors in there. and Oh, you know, we can keep going forever. Yeah. The first thing you do if you ruled the world. I'd make education freely available, publicly funded and accessible to all. Thank you very much. Pleasure.